Hello everyone. This is our industrial electronics lab. So today, uh, in this lab session, we are uh, doing an experiment which is related to another power device which is called UJT. Right? UJT means unit junction transistor. So today we will see UJT as a relaxation oscillator. So first of all, we need to know what is an oscillator. An oscillator is a device which produces a waveform by its own and a relaxation oscillator is a device or is a uh, device which can generate non-sinusoidal waveform without any uh, external anything. That means it produces uh, by itself a non-sinusoidal uh, waveform. So the output of UJT as a relaxation oscillator so the output of relaxation oscillator depends upon the charging and discharging time constant of the capacitor. So you can see here this is the circuit it is UJT which is having three terminals base two bases are there B1 and B2 it should be written over here actually I have written a little bit upwards B1 and B2 two bases and one emitter right so this emitter is connected to a resistor which is of 47 kilo ohms and a capacitor along with these two it is connected that means the emitter of the uh, UJT is connected right and this resistance R provides the path for charging the capacitance right now you can see two bases b1 and b2 simultaneously connected to two resistances of 270 ohms and 100 ohms okay and the power supply vbb dc power supply of 12 volt has been given here and the output we will check that means across capacitor that means the output of capacitor we will check that means across capacitor we need to check the output ones and the relaxation oscillator output we need to check uh, in between B1 and ground that means uh, in between B1 and ground these two terminals will check the output of oscillator by connecting the probes of DSO right. So initially so initially the voltage across capacitor is zero right no voltage is here across the capacitor now whenever vbb that means our dc power supply we have given to the circuit after that the capacitor starts charging through the path of that resistance right so the capacitor will charge until the maximum voltage that means until and unless it reaches the value vbb right but while charging at a point of time it will reach up to a certain voltage at which the ujt turns on and it starts conducting up to that time capacitor will charge continuously at that point it stops charging and will start discharging whenever the ujt is turned on from that point it starts discharging and it will discharge up to a minimum voltage which is called as valley voltage and then the UJT gets turned off whenever it reaches the minimum voltage right. So in this way the charging and discharging process like a cycle it continues. So we will check now the output across this capacitor and the output of relaxation oscillator that is UJT at this terminal junction B1 and the ground right so let's see the connections so here you can see 12 volt power supply has been given 12 volt power supply has been given and it is connected to this 47k this is 47k this is 
100 ohms and this is 270 right so the, uh, the 100 ohm resistance as I have shown in the circuit one terminal is connected to the ground and another terminal is connected to the base B1 of UJT right and now this is uh, 100 ohm and this is 47k one terminal of 47k is connected to the emitter this one is connected to the emitter and another terminal is connected to 12 volt right and this is connected to 270 ohms resistance is connected to B2 and another terminal of 270 is connected to supply 12 volt likewise the circuit completes and here you can see the connection of capacitance one terminal of capacitance is connected to ground and another terminal is connected to this resistance which is of 100 ohms right so you can correlate with the circuit shown earlier uh, along with this you can easily understand the connections how the connection has been made so now i'll check two outputs one is across this capacitor and another is across b1 and ground this b1 and ground across this two right so i'm placing the dso probes and after that i'll turn on the power supply Let's run on the power supply. Here you can see this is the output waveform of capacitor, the charging and discharging of capacitor. Right. Okay, so now let's see the measurements for this. This is the output waveform along with the observation that means the measurements so you can note down from here also v max v mean vpp and along with v average vrms value this basic measurements right so now let's see the output across the the output across the ujt right so now I will place the TSO probe across these two terminals. One is at base B1 and another is ground. Okay. Let's turn on the power supply and you can see the spike like waveform has been generated pulsating waveform this is the waveform it is a spike that means continuous uh, pulsating waveform that is non sinusoidal waveform whatever uh, the uh, output of ujt you can see here it is a non sinusoidal waveform just you can see this is the actual waveform of the ujt relaxation oscillator right so you can trace down from the dso directly or store the output also here and let's see the display section and here you can see the measurements related to this output waveform all the measurements are here which will help us to note down the observation tables. There is Vmax, Vmin, Vpp, Vavarage, Vrms, all the measurements are available here. 
so this is all about the ujt as a relaxation oscillator thank you